kwa tunapelekana hivi na renovation me you and the renovation me you and the renovation Hola, I'm Thony here. I really hope you guys have been doing great. I know it has been like a month, or at least three weeks since I posted a video. And this video is going to explain what happened. If you're new here, welcome. We create DIY and home decor plus interior design kind of content over here. If you do like that kind of content, you can subscribe below and join our DIY fam and if you are returning thank you so much for trusting me again and choosing to spend your time with me so this is a sponsored video and it's in partnership with skillshare i'll be telling you more about it later on in the video because last time i'm licheza kama nyunyi so the last time we spoke i was sharing information on the house plans that we had like the new floor plan what it was going to look like and some of the inspiration that i had and honestly I would be lying if I didn't tell you that since then my inspo has changed. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I was not very quick into getting started already because I, I, I don't want to have to do way too much like or undo stuff after I do it because the plan is to live in that house for quite some time. And I want it to feel like a home for us and not just like um something we're passing by does that make sense i really hope that makes sense so i don't want to run but i've been still uh, i've still been getting uh inspired over the days i'm actually thinking of turning it into like a colorful house because i love color and i don't want it to end up being like those um like you know those hotel type homes where like when you see photos and stuff like no one lives there right like this this is just set up for photos and stuff to look like this i don't want i don't i personally don't gravitate towards that kind of stuff i like stuff that's playful that's colorful so initially i was going to just um have hints of colors here and there I had not decided completely because i think i was still getting influenced by the colors that i had used in the previous house so i feel like I was trying to find a way to pay homage to that house and then I realized you know what I don't have to I actually do not have to this is a brand new canvas that I can do whatever I want with and so I'm like you know what I'm going to go in a completely different direction so there's been a delay in the renovation because of that and secondly as well because of permits so if you do not know let me tell you that to do renovations you have to get a permit and initially i was getting a permit for the renovations right and then later on in the journey of getting the permit for the renovation i decided i also wanted to alter the house so there's a difference between alterations and renovations so renovations it's just like taking down walls changing the size of your windows did you know you have to get permission from the city council in this case the county council because now they are in counties did you know you have to get permission from the county council if you want to change the window size in your house now you know <laughs> now you are very aware okay so the permit was initially uh we were applying initially we were applying a permit for the renovation and then now when i decided I, I i got inspired and i was like you know what may i feel like i want to add another level to this house it became now i need a permit for alterations so alterations and renovations are very are very different so now the permit had to change and that's again a completely different process um the fee varies depending on which county you're in initially i think okay the closer you are to an urban area the more expensive it is let me say that so for certain things you either have to pay like there's like a flat rate for something or there's a flat rate between uh certain spaces like if you say your house is like um 40 square meters then there's like a range for that if yours is a hundred there's a completely different range for that the other way you might have to pay depending again on the kind of permit you need is if you are the, if they charge you like a certain percentage of the amount of money you intend to spend on their work it's a lot i know i know <laughs> so 
all this like is new territory tumezoea tukupaka rangi sawa sisi tunajuanga tu tunapaka rangi tunaweka shelves now this whole having to deal with county councils and basically asking for permission because that's what it's about you're literally asking hey is it okay if i do abc and they have to say yes or no the reason for this is because they try to control um urban planning so they're trying to control um like the population of different i don't want to say villages like different parts so for instance even like that random house in let's use roisambu i say roisambu because one i've lived there and two i have witnessed this not personally but like in someone else's house where when you open your window like this and you see into someone else's bedroom like you guys can literally chat and be like what's up you know like all these places we were told fun resides <laughs> you know all that stuff like the reason people have to get permits is because they have to to do that urban planning thing they have to confirm that the drainage in the area we will will work with the number of people and the number of houses that are going to possibly live in said say apartment house whatever and all that stuff so it's the same thing even in uh single dwelling homes so that's what like our place is that's what this place is it's called like a single single dwelling so single dwelling basically means it's like just one family in one space okay so now when you are extending and changing things they have to confirm that the foundation of the house is going to hold up the weight um of that and also that it doesn't interfere with the intended um urban planning of that area okay i think that's that, that kind of makes sense so we will get the permit because there are other houses that are two story houses in the area that's literally the reasoning behind that so they sometimes might send someone to come and confirm that the application you're making for the space makes sense so that's where like we were sort of like okay now we're switching gears then the second problem was now we've decided we're doing alterations now when you're doing alterations you have to submit the old plans and the new plans this house is old 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 it was like built kitambo so literally no one has the initial blueprint or the initial plans of the house so now the idea was like now we have to work on the plans to come up with the plans of what the house currently looks like because we need to submit plans then you have to submit what the new plans are going to be Mothoni had not decided how the upper level is going to look because now uh, my contractor and I met and we were trying to I was trying to tell him this is what I want I think I would want this so I was trying to confirm um so like the structural engineer was I was talking to him and I was like so can you tell me if I want ABC to be here would that make sense if I want this here would that make sense I was telling him like the kind of material that I want to use because me I want to use material that's going to save me money because um one she's kikuyu she loves her coins <laughs> and two she ain't got no coins okay like i don't have coins for just like ah let's just throw money at things uh -uh. so now what we were discussing the different materials and what would cost uh what and like so just weighing the pros and cons of each okay and then now still haven't we had not decided on exactly what the upper level is going to look like because you see when you submit plans you have to submit for what the lower level will be and what the upper level will be so the lower level after we've taken down walls and whatever we've installed beams and everything now we want these beams to go all the way up so that they can also hold the roof all the way up there as they come all the way down to the ground so the problem is i still have no clue the setup of the the first floor that's what has kind of held back the the now coming up with the new designs for the new floor plan the new look of the house because now we have to submit those ones and i'm so lucky because just when i was like over there i'm like because i really don't want to submit something and then end up changing my mind so i'm i'm like sitting on it to make sure that whatever i submit will be the final final look of the house like the final structure of the entire house 
so there's that and then the fact that adding another level of course means that the budget so the initial budget i was working with for renovation was that's one budget right i was like this is how much i will be doing my renovations for don't worry once we start doing the work and everything i'm going to give you breakdown costs of everything in case anyone is interested so like right now we only have tentative numbers because uh so then that was again another cost implication that i also have to confirm that i'm willing to incur before we move forward with submissions and everything so um i've been talking to different types of people different types of contractors getting different quotations because you also want to confirm that like the ranges and everything and once everyone really understands what you're trying to do that they understand like okay this is what we're using and that's how much this will cost that's how much this will cost and since like the top level we haven't confirmed exactly how it will look like and even the square footage of it at a square footage is it yeah square feet yes hey i was like am i confused <laughs> so since we haven't even decided like just how big the entire space is going to be it's kind of hard right now to say what that budget is going to look like after i'm done with the shell of a, of the house i'll tell you how much that process costs okay so that was that but i was lucky and before i tell you about something cool that happened where i'm like oh maybe that's why all these de delays made sense let me first tell you about this video sponsor and that is skillshare so like i said mlicheza kama nyinyi last time and skillshare are like ah your people are cool we are going to give them again we're going to partner with you again for your people so skillshare partner with me again for this video and for the first 1000 people who click on the link in the description box as well as the pinned comment down below we'll get to enjoy a free trial of skillshare premium where you get to pick whatever class it, like the, they have so many classes and let me tell you about the class i'm currently taking i'm still doing my blender classes by the way sijaiva but i'm still i'm still taking my classes I, I stumbled upon by chance and i'm so happy i did was this class by lily singh which is about social media success making videos people care about and for me the reason this class is so important is because i'm always trying to better myself and I want to make this my business. I want this to be my core business, my main business, which is creating content online. And Lily Singh is literally one person who has had massive success in this area. We've literally watched Lily Singh grow right before our eyes. Like learning from her, talking about like how she prepares for her videos, how she plans her videos, how she comes up with uh, with concepts for her videos and such. I'm like, I am so glad that lily saying literally is giving us a class on skillshare excited exciteros eh so again i would like to remind you that if you do want to take classes even if you're trying to become a youtube successful youtuber <laughs> and that makes zero sense if you are trying to become successful on youtube if you're trying to grow on social media you can take this class for sure but if that's also not about you know you you're not you're like me i like to watch videos i i don't like to make them that's also okay you can take classes on business you can take classes on arts and crafting and things you can do journaling meditation there's so much so don't forget for the first 1000 people to click on the link below you get to enjoy skillshare premium you get a, a free trial of skillshare premium and after that Skillshare is only $10 a month, around $10 a month when you take the, the yearly sub, uh, subscription. So $10 a month, you only thought eh? That's like a G, okay, depending on the price of the dollar. <laughs> but it's around there, 1,000 bob to 1,100. And given the amount of classes and the amount of information and knowledge that's on the platform, honestly, $10 is such a steal okay so don't forget link is in the description box and the first pinned comment down below okay ah yeah now let's get back into our video i was gonna tell you about something really cool that happened so uh the beginning of this year i made my first ever vision board 
And on that vision board, I said that I wanted to do production design. I had my name next to a production design credit. And something really cool happened. A friend of mine, uh, in, a friend in the industry, is doing a movie. And they asked me to do production design for them. So... I'm super excited. And not just that. The other cool part was they're like, that house, can I use it as, can, can we use it on set? Can we, can we have it as a location, as is? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> because I'm still over here battling over what's going to happen, when's going to happen, getting permits and whatever. I was like, yeah, sure. So as much as we've had a delay, that delay has come with some cool, cool cool what bonuses let's call them that so yay i'll be getting like my first film credit i've already gotten like uh i'm doing a web series uh so i have a web series credit uh on legally clueless and uh soon to announce i will be also doing a set for another amazing kenyan content creator details to be shared soon i'll be doing her set i'll become her set designer so as in eh, i'm just over here i'm like uh, i'm super excited i'm very very excited about like just the way stuff is moving and uh and also my content will also be on another platform i'll share all these details later <laughs> as they unfold i'm eating my hair i'm too excited that i'm eating my own hair so that's what's been happening so there's a project i was going to get started on once we had done like the shell of the house and i was gonna now pick up on that and do that alongside the house um after the initial stage of the house so that's the project that i'm gonna start doing i'm gonna work on that so don't worry there'll be content i'll be sharing content it just won't be renovation content for at least this month of may but in June, so that's next month, now in June, we'll just be going crazy, um, at least from the second week of June. The second week, from the second week of June, tutakuwa tunapelekana hivi na renovation. Me, you, and the renovation. Me, you, and the renovation. I love how I'm excited because I'm hoping that by the time my birthday is coming around, we'll have already moved into the house, even if it won't be completely done because... We will do the shell, then we will move in because once we move in, we can do everything else from there. Because right now, once the shell is done, and by the shell, I mean the structure. The structure will be done, then we will move in, and then now the makeovers will happen with us in the house. So I'm hoping that um, by at least, let's say, end of July or mid or end of July, we'll have moved over there. And by the time my birthday is coming around... We will be living in that house. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'll be turning 31 in that house. <laughs> okay, so yes, I just wanted to get you updated on that. And also, I hope you've learned something new, especially about like permits and renovations and such things. So I hope you enjoy that. I hope you're going to definitely remember to click on the link in the description box okay remember to do that leave your comments below also come up on a contact kambu county tafadhali i am looking for them okay <laughs> help a sister out kambu county you know their website like i called the number on their website and it was someone's personal number so please <laughs> please okay if not that to have kona ku camp coffee zao thank you so much for watching this video thank you for trusting me with your time i hope to see you back here next friday we'll probably be doing a diy or something we'll do something we'll do something okay we always there's always something up my sleeve you know this okay we'll do something i'll see you back here have yourself a lovely lovely weekend and a lovely week ahead see you next week bye bye don't forget to subscribe. I'm supposed to tell people that. Please do not forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below because that stuff actually helps my channel. And it sends a signal to YouTube that you actually like my content. And then they show it to more people. Subscribing is absolutely free. It is free, 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 free. It is freer than this country. So... <laughs>